Residents at Princess Anne's 730 acre Gatcombe Park estate are a variety of unusual wildlife. Princess Anne's home at Gatcombe Park sits on a 730 acre estate, so it comes as no surprise that she's not the only one to live there. The royal and her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence reside in a Grade II listed property on the estate, which is located between the villages of Minchinhampton and Avening in Gloucestershire. Elsewhere, Anne's daughter Zara and her husband Mike Dindle have their own home, as does Peter Phelps. But the estate is also a working farm home to an array of different animals. In honor of Anne's 70th birthday, which fell on August 15, 2020, the royal website released 70 facts about the Queen's daughter. One of them read, Her Royal Highness's home, Gatcombe Park, is a working farm and has some 230 Wiltshire horn ewes, 14 white park cows, 6 highland cows, and 2 Gloucester Old Spot sows. Anne's home also reportedly features 5 main bedrooms, 4 secondary bedrooms, 4 reception rooms a library, a billiard room and a conservatory. Photos released in honor of Princess Royal's birthday offered a new look inside the impressive property, including one reception room with stone flooring and a rose gold armchair, and the staircase with white wainscoting, a black steel banister and burnt orange walls. Princess Royal, 70, is also a passionate farmer who runs a working farm on her 730-acre Gatcombe Park estate. The farm is home to a range of livestock, including breeding horses and cattle. According to the royal family's website, it has some 230 Wiltshire horn ewes, 14 white park cows, 6 highland cows and 2 Gloucester Old Spot sows. Wiltshire horn ewes are unusual among native British breeds, characterized by natural molting of its wool which deducts the need for shearing. There are less than 1,000 breeding Gloucester Old Spots meaning the spread of pig is endangered. They weigh around 280 kilograms and are known for their intelligence, as excellent foragers. In an interview in 2014, Princess Anne told the BBC program Country File that farming is vital to the upkeep of the estate. Being able to take on a place like this, for me, I've got to make it work, she said. This is not something that comes free, this has got to pay its way, otherwise I can't stay here. It was bought by the Queen in 1976 from Conservative politician R. A. Butler. Her Majesty purchased the property as a present for her daughter and her first husband, Captain Mark Phillips, after their wedding in 1973. The royal couple moved into the property in 1977 and brought up their children, Peter and Zara, on the estate. The princess is an advocate of genetic modification GM, technology, arguing that it would improve the robustness of the rare breed livestock she farms on her estate. Her views run very much contrary to those of her brother Prince Charles, an ardent proponent of organic farming. The Princess Royal told BBC Radio 4 Farming Today program in 2017 that GM would be a bonus. Surely if we are going to be better at producing food of the right value then we have to accept that genetic technology, if you call it modification or anything else, is going to be part of that, she said. How you define what is harmful or what is good seems to me rather more difficult than what is harmful.